Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Maddie. I post new videos every Sunday. So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be imitating this look of Lily Reinhardt. And I am going to be doing this step by step with all makeup that I already had. Um, I love this look. I knew I, wanted, I knew I wanted to do this type of video. And when I was looking through pictures of inspiration of ones I wanted to do, this one really caught my eye because I'm loving this winged liner look, but not using a liquid liner, but using more of like an eyeshadow um, with a tapered brush. And so that was really fun to do and try out because I think this is, I'm starting to think this is going to be like my vibe for spring. Like I'm loving the scarves. I'm loving the liner. Like the light under eyes. This was just everything that I was like seeing and feeling for the spring. So if you want to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications so you can know whenever I post every Sunday. And let's get started. Okay. So all I've done to my skin so far is just wash my face and put on a brush coat of moisturizer. So for moisturizer, what I've been using recently is this Super Goop with SPF 50 in it. Um, I'm really, really loving it. It smells really good and it's made with sunflower extract. I don't know if that's what makes it smell so good, but I really like the smell of it. Then for eye cream, I used this Lotus Youth Preserve from Fresh. And for my lips, I used the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask in vanilla and this stuff is so, so good. So I'm gonna start off by priming my skin and I've been using this, this Hourglass um, Veil Mineral Primer. And you only need a small amount and I really just focus it on, um, so use about that amount. And I really just focus it on parts of my face that get really oily and then I just spread it out from there. Okay, so for foundation, I just put four pumps, uh, or not four pumps, but like basically two full pumps. I feel like this look is kind of light of the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani, and I'm in the shade 4.25. And then for my brush, I like to use the Morphe M439, I think it's fading off, brush. And then I just stipple it all into my face to get good coverage. And I like to focus it on the center points of the face and then work outwards. I'm super fair right now because why would I be wasting any of my self tanner when I'm really not going anywhere? But that works perfect for this look because Lily's very fair skin, which I think is super pretty. And then after I work this all into the skin, with this brush i'm still going to go in with the beauty blender and just make sure it all melts into the skin and going in with my beauty blender does anyone else when they put their beauty blender or makeup bag ever get these little spots on it i think it's so gross and i even make a conscious effort for it to not get messy and touch too many other products but it still happens so i don't really know okay next i'm going to do concealer and she has a super bright under eye flawless look in this um, photo. And so I'm going to use my new favorite concealer. This is the Hourglass, um, it just says Hourglass on the package, but it's their new concealer. I think it might be the only one they have. So I'm gonna use a good amount of this because she looks very porcelain in this look. And so I want to make sure my look is super flawless. Covering up all my blemishes. And then I'm just going to go in with this Real Techniques brush that I got in a set. of my eyes because I really want that to be super bright. Overall, her face makeup is pretty light, I'd say, but she still has 
good coverage. She still doesn't have, it's still flawless looking, but I still feel like she has a nice underneath glow. So I am gonna go in with a little bit of my Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is what I use whenever I just have, I wanna have like a highlighted, natural, glowy look, but not look like I'm just wearing highlighter. So this would be probably the only highlight product I use. And then I just go in with this fluffy brush that I actually got from being a VIP Rouge member with Sephora. And then I'll just do like small circles and focus on the high points of my face. Okay, now I'm going to set my face with this Hourglass, Am <laughs> Hourglass Ambient Luminous Light Powder. And I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush for this and just make sure everything's pretty much set on my face. Don't want anything too shiny. And this powder is awesome because it still gives you a nice glow underneath, even when you're like, have everything set down. Okay. So now it doesn't look like she did very much um, heavy contouring for this look, or I guess Patrick Ta didn't do very much heavy contouring for this look. Sorry, this robe is like falling off of me. Um, but I'm gonna go in and do a light contour just because I love a little bit of a light contour, but just not go too heavy handed. So I'm gonna use this KKW Beauty um, contour stick and I'd use light one and light two. It comes with a duo side, so it's pretty awesome. And I got this at Ulta. So I'll just do line, a line, a line, a line. I have to do it right above my ear. And then down my nose. And then my jawline. Because he probably made her look super natural, but I'm sure he still did a good amount to her, you know? So I'm just going to go in and blend this out. This is like a pretty stiff uh, bristled brush. And this is also from that same Real Tex Techniques set, um, the same one that I used when I was doing my um, highlight. I mean, not my highlight, my concealer. So just make sure all that is blended in nicely. And then for my cheeks, I always want to make sure you're pressing up first. And then I like to do like light circles and just blend it in until it looks pretty natural. Okay, that looks nice. It just brought like a little more structure to my face, you know? So for the remainder of like the bronzing portion of this look, I am just gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. It's a super light bronzer, and I can tell she has some color to her face, but it's not like super heavy. So I'm just gonna go in with this, swirl it around, tap off the excess, and then just go in the same spots that I contoured and just give myself some color. And then it's okay, this look isn't super, um, contoured and so it's okay to be kind of whimsical with it if you will okay this look i am gonna bake I'm gonna use, I'm going with my trusty Laura Mercier translucent powder. And, oop, let me grab my other beauty blender. And I'm just going to pat this underneath my under eyes. Going right in that triangle. I like to go right down the sides of my nose because that's where I get oily and so it really helps like for setting purposes too. Um, and also brightening, so. More. 
and then I'm gonna go right underneath where I contoured. And I'm just gonna help set it and give it a little more structure. And then for my forehead, I don't want to look too cakey, and so I'm just going to take the remaining amounts and just kind of like pat it in. Okay, and then while this is setting um, and baking, I am going to go ahead and do my brows and my eyes. Okay, so for brows, I'm looking at the picture right now, and they're very feathery, which I love. And... They're penciled in a little bit, but she wasn't, they weren't afraid to show like a little bit of white. So they're not all the way penciled in and like, like look just like, she drew them with a marker, which is awesome. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I personally liked this one better because it has kind of an angled tip rather than just like the pencil. I just think it's a little bit easier and gets the job done a little bit faster. So here, let me zoom you guys in. I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I have a mirror that's really well lit, that's very helpful, so. That's what's going on with that. So as you can see, I have naturally very bushy brows. Um, oh, and my shade in this is medium brown. So what I'm gonna do is just go in. Do the bottom. Give it some structure. But then not worry too much about filling in the front, just doing a little bit. And then blend it out with my finger a little. And then I'm gonna go in the end. And then go on the tops. And I'm gonna extend it a little bit. I all love doing this. Like gives my eye a more defined look. So this is not nearly the finished product, but okay. okay. Now I'm gonna brush it up again. And then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia, Be 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 my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And just keep it brushed up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna have a brow. Gosh, y'all, I can't even believe I forgot this. I forgot to bake the middle of my nose, and that is my most critical part to bake. There we go. Okay, so both eyebrows are done. <coughs> oh my God. I coughed in the grocery store the other day and everyone was like. Um, okay, so brows are done. So for lid, she basically, it's super light. Like the most, obviously the most defined part of this look is the eyeliner. So all I'm gonna do is just go in with a super natural shade from one of my Naked palettes. I think I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna use shade Buck. So you can see just like a very natural, like, taupey brown. And I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush that I have from, I think I got it from like an Ipsy bag. I actually don't know the exact brush this is. And I'm just gonna tap it in there and tap off the excess and then get it all over like the base of my lid and then get a little bit more and then go in the inner corner and then just do like small circles and just give my eye like a little bit of structure but nothing crazy okay like that might even be too much i think we're good the same thing in the other eye. Okay. 
And I think actually what I'm gonna do too, call me crazy, is go in with a little bit of my blush as part of my eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna use just a mix of these two and just go over the base of my lid. Let me make sure I have everything off of this. Tap it, the excess a lot. Let me pick up a little more. And then just kind of give it like a peachy look. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. One thing I also noticed in this, they made sure they brought the shadow up very close to her brow. And I once heard Ariel, Kylie's artist, say that that gives your eyes like a more like cinched in cat look if you really focus on right in here. Okay, that looks really good. So now this is obviously the most important part. It's flat time for the liner. So this liner is a very extended, dramatic, smoky liner so what i'm gonna do is just take any sorry i just keep looking at this reference yes yeah, a little bit smoky it only goes to like right where her lashes end like right there it doesn't go all the way down to the tear duct um and then it extends out and basically ends right where her brow ends and it looks more like straight rather than cat eyes so any black eyeshadow will work for this um, but I think a critical component for this look is having a tapered little brush like this. So here it goes nothing. I'm to pick up this black. And I'm gonna make sure I get it really close in there. And it's okay if for this it takes a couple times to get that full effect. Actually go back to the part. I'm telling y'all, layers I think is important with this. That's really good. pretty close so now I'm going to wipe off this powder so for the bottom part of the eyes she has no, it looks like she has no liner no mascara no nothing but it does look glowy and kind of gold and so I have this NYX little eye stick it's a jumbo eye pencil and it's in shade sparkle nude and so i'm just going to run this underneath the bottom of my line of my lash line just to give it kind of like a glowy look yeah, that's pretty spot on okay so that, that part is done i'm going to go ahead and do with the lashes so i sadly lost my eyelash curler recently but my lashes are not super straight and so we'll be okay so i'm gonna prime my lashes with this dior lash and then i'm gonna go in with my trusty better than sex mascara from Too faced and then i'm going to apply a couple lash trios to the ends of my eyes okay so now for the last Part of the lashes I'm gonna use this duo eyelash adhesive glue and I always use my handy dandy tweezers and so for these they come in short and mediums I think I'm just gonna use two shorts on the ends just to give myself a little more of a defined thicker look at the end but this look she doesn't have super long lashes and so I don't think I'm really gonna go for this like super long ones um so yeah so what I'll do is just off two of these so then what I do 
So I put the glue on the lash and then I wait 30 seconds for the glue to get tacky because if you put it on when the glue is just like super, super wet, it's gonna slip around more, it's not gonna stay, you're gonna get frustrated. So, I have the glue on and I'll see you in 30 seconds. In 30 seconds and I'm gonna do one on not on the total corner. I'm gonna do like one on the corner and then one like a little bit farther on my eye. So I'm gonna start with the one a little bit farther on my eye. And just sit it right there. Trust me, it will stay. Just trust the process when you put it on. And then I'm gonna do the other one and do the exact same thing. 30 seconds later, this one's gonna go on the very far outer corner. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, oh my gosh, I think it's looking so good. So we only have two parts left. I'm gonna do, I need to do blush and then the lip. So I just ran to grab this stuff for the lip. Um, so for blush, let me review my photo one more time. Yeah, it's pretty light, peachy, pinky blush. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Jouer palette. What else? I use this guy all the time. And then, it's a super youthful look, and so I'm just gonna focus it like right here on my cheeks, and I'm just gonna use this lighter pink one. So I'm just gonna tap it, pop the excess, and just hit the tops of my cheeks right there. Um, her lip is like a nudie, rosy, smudgy but plump you know what i mean so let me make sure i have all my lip mask off so i feel like that kind of affects it um and so for lip i'm going to use the kkw liner and lipstick and then i'm going to top it with my dior and rosewood for lip gloss so for the liner i am going to go in with this this is new one but i'm not going to go super oh my god what happened to my lip liner i'm not going to go super heavy on the liner i'm just gonna like lightly line the outside of my lips okay i'm gonna like smudge it out I can have like a structure, but it's not super heavy. Um, and then this one is nude three, and this is like I think almost the exact same color as what she's wearing. And kind of rub them. Almost going outside of your normal lip and then just go with a clean finger and make sure they're all clean. And then just run your finger along the edges to make them a little smudgy. Hit with my Cupid's bow, gets messy. Okay. Okay, that's pretty close. So, okay, and then yeah, topping it off with my Dior Show. It's my favorite lip gloss. And that is it. Okay. Oh wait, let me do finishing spray. So for finishing spray, I always use my Morphe setting spray. Let me cover my part so it doesn't get greasy. Oh, mess up my brow. And then I'm gonna so 
put it in one last time. I'm gonna go the extra mile and put on a cute little bandana like she has or a scarf. So I'm just gonna part my hair super deep. The trick for this to make it easier is to put your hair in a ponytail. Just so it doesn't get stuck. And then I have my scarf. I got this from Madewell, it's super cute. Take off the tag. And then you just wanna take it and fold it like this. A lot easier to adjust when you take your hair down. Awesome. Okay, I think she had like a little bit of her part showing. That. Oop, am I grabbing it? I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. I post every single Sunday. All things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, love to cook, love all the things, love organizing, just an entire lifestyle channel basically. So um, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions for me about this look, um, I'll have all the products linked below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.